this demonstration, we're just going to start with a blank page uh, 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 floor plan. So here we are, uh, 20 by 20. And although you've chosen a 20 by 20 from that open menu, if you find that that's not the size, it's not a big deal because you can make changes right here. Uh, you can see there's a width and depth. So I can change my width to 30 and it automatically my floor plans change. So the limitations are not set at the beginning. You can always come back and uh, readjust the size of your floor plan. And same thing with the unit size you can always come back and view your units differently and uh, let's bring up a tool so we can s judge whether this thing is really the size that we've uh, given it uh, if we go to our catalog and we find tools we have a ruler tool we can drag and drop and it would basically measure the space and tell us, yep, this is indeed a 30 foot floor. Okay. So the second aspect is how do we find assets? Uh, uh, actually, before we go into that, let's say, for example, you've logged in already and you want to find floor plans already created. You click on that same menu button and then we see the open menu If you click on it it pulls up all of your floor plans that you've created and saved and you can choose by clicking on any of them and it opens that up and you can go back at any point and choose a different floor plan to work on and just by clicking on the uh, plan, the, the thumbnail, it opens up the floor plan. So it's that simple. The other uh, option is, of course, anytime you want to save a floor plan. And as you can see here, the save button is disabled because I have not made any changes to that plan but I can always do a save as so let's say I wanted to keep my original copy and just make another one and so this is where I will get that menu the other menu is print and printing is not necessarily something that goes directly to your printer but it's some what we've done with printing we've made it even that much more useful so if you click on print what you've noticed is that the uh, the screens changes slightly which means uh, this border is telling us where the print page is and and we have the controls up here that tells us the paper size so the 11 by 17 uh, option and then there's the orientation landscape or portrait of course and what we have is we can pan which means we can move our plan anywhere on that page that we want uh, if, let me see if I go back I can print a particular area and I can zoom to that area and just make that a print and if I if that's not what I wanted I can click on the recenter and it will center my plan on my page again so that makes things simple but uh, instead of uh, the output going directly to your printer what what we do is we, we you click on create PDF so, uh, so what this print is going to do is it's not going to go directly to your printer it's just going to generate a PDF of that page so if I click here as you can see it just downloaded a PDF of that print if I click open that PDF here it is it comes up 
with the watermark on it and this watermark can be adjusted depending on the the white label user okay and then at that point if you do want to send it to print you can from your computer send this to print but then uh, you can always generate a PDF of the uh, whatever is on the screen okay so let's go back so if we go back the other areas that we can navigate and see what's going on is uh, we have the of course the controls properties whenever you click on this uh, the properties by default the floor will come up not any particular objects just the floor and these are the properties of the floor uh, as you can see there's the background color so I can click on that and say hey let me change the background color I can go back to white uh, of course we've already seen depth we've seen uh, a width show grid so we can see the grid lines here we can hide the grid lines if they're bothering us but they're there to help us gauge sizes so the these grid size happens to be 12 inches squared so uh, if I made them 24 they would just automatically turn to 24 and grid starts from the upper left hand corner down the other option is to snap to grid which means any object that I grab is gonna snap to a grid so it jumps around from grid to grid wherever the starting point was um, and some people may not want that so you can take that out and uh, there's magnets which has not been turned on yet but will soon turn on and ma what magnets are is that there are little points where you can snap one object to another object and this is the this would represent the strength of the magnet and of course we have our unit uh, standards and metric okay third uh, 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 the fourth button here we see is uh, share at any point during this floor plan you can share this floor plan with someone else uh, by clicking here and the email link is you type in your name and you type in the person you're sending it to and the person's email when you hit send this person would get this floor plan in the email as a link and when they click on it it would open this floor plan for them so that's an easy share inside the same share uh, category you have links and what they are is there are those are direct links that you can copy of some uh, of a floor plan and actually paste it on, on on a browser window and then we have both the 3d and the 2d uh, and then there's the copy bu copy button the embed code is kinda like a link but it's a link that you can embed into a web page and all you have to do is uh, highlight this hit copy uh, and, and as you can see it's both for 2d and 3d so I can embed this floor plan or the 3d version of that floor plan on a web page so whenever that page is loaded uh, that floor plan would load inside of it and here I can also make uh, m uh, manipulate some of the width and the height of that actual space that I'm uh, embedding so if I embedded something on this floor plan wherever I've placed it it will be 400 width by 226 that's just that's a size that can be updated okay okay and besides that uh, the third option is to view something in 3d this is sorry that's not third that's one two three four five 
viewing something in 3D is as simple as whatever. If you have any objects on the floor that's been saved, you click on the 3D button. As you can see here, it's telling me to uh, save my floor plan because I've made some changes. I click on OK. And it's going to pop up a new window. 